Good morning, greetings, salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Um, it is 10 a.m. I'm in the car. I'm already sweating. It's already 91 degrees. It's supposed to be like 100. Let's see what. It's supposed to be 114 today. Ah! Oh, I'm melting already. Oh my gosh, today it's gonna be 114. Tomorrow is gonna be 116. And it's supposed to be like triple digits for the foreseeable future, which is insane. But um, yeah, it's just so warm. Anyway, can I just show you guys? Like, do you see that mark on my forehead right there? So I was cleaning up my room and I have like a, like a piece of art that's like propped up against the wall and so there's usually stuff in front of it. And it's just like, a, it's not even heavy really at all, but it's like a canvas. It's that printed canvas that says, uh, I think it says Vuitton on it. And it just like fell over and it hit my head and it hit, I don't know, like it hit it so hard. But um, yeah, so that's what happened to me yesterday and now we're in the car we're gonna go thrifting today which i'm very excited about so do not forget to subscribe hit the little bell button so you're notified when those thrifting videos do go up because they're going to be going up through this whole week but we're going to have fun today so i am very very excited oh don't forget to check out the sale um link will be down below in the description box it's hadrian.com 20 percent off everything and it's from now until september 8th of 2020 so go check it out i got a ton of new stuff up there and i'm still listing stuff i'm still in the process but you know got to go thrifting today see what else i can find and i'll get that listed too if i find anything good so anyway let's go thrifting all right you guys there's the info for it but we just got to the potting shed hi you come in all right you guys so this is the view when you first walk in and it is amazing everything looks so cute look at all this pottery That's beautiful. Snake. I love this like hanging thing full of full of the monstera. And look at these air plants. Your eyes do not deceive you. These are really how big they are. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these are so amazing. How cool! You guys are gorgeous too. Whoa. These airplanes are gorgeous as well. Look at this guy. This is pretty. Oh my gosh, the flowers on this are amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, these are so cool. I want them all. Oh my gosh. Oh my, everywhere I look, the air plants get more and more amazing. Like seriously, those are so gorgeous. Ooh, a little propagation. I don't have the card, you like the card. They should bring that over here. I wonder if this guy is for sale. <laughs> okay, so then this is the little outdoor area where they keep like the outdoor plants and the succulents. Look at all these succulents. I wonder if there's mom one that mom would like. Oh, these are cute too. Look at those. Oh, this one's cool. Oh my god, this is so cute.
अनिर बना दिए Oh, these are cool. <laughs> there you go. Then back here, it looks like they're still setting up, but they have a bunch of really cool pottery, hanging stuff. I really like that alocasia right there. All right, you guys, we just got to South Coast. I'm gonna go to Anthropology because they forgot to take off the tag thing, like the beeping thing, sensor. So we're gonna hit up um, Antho first and get it removed, which is right there. All right, so got the sensor removed. And they gave me a little bag for it. Ooh, how cute is this? Ooh. I do love these plates so much. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, and these are so cute too. Oh, these are the dried or the dried hydrangeas that I want. Look how pretty they are. They also come in white, but I don't think I see them. This is really pretty too. Look at that. This is so good, and this is so pretty too. All right, this blanket is so amazing. There's also a matching pillow. I wonder how much the pillow is, because the blanket's 128. These are literally the cutest utensils ever. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, and so is this one. So pretty. You guys, I want this so far so much. It's so cute. I really wanted to see it in real life. <sighs> Planter is so stinking cute. Ooh, the rubber plant's on sale. You guys, their vases are so good right now. These coasters are so good. They're rose quartz. So pretty. This bird is so cute. Ooh, look at those bird ones. You guys, how cute are these little mouse things? Oh, I also like these spoon rests. They're just so small. Oh my god, this is the chair that I want so badly. Also, this snake lamp is epic. Oh, this is cute. $1.99. How cute is this chair? Oh, this is so good, too. I love this bench. Oh, this is so cute, too. Sorry, I'm saying everything's cute again. But look at that sofa, and look at this little side table. It's like a cube box container thing. This lamp is so cute. Look how shiny, shimmery things are. I want to show you guys the mall. Some places have lines, like Nike has a line. And then CB2 didn't have a line. Well, actually, it started to have a tiny line. West Dom has a pretty long line. I'm at Crate and Barrel looking at these vases. I think are super nifty and cool. I love this one, but there's a bigger one over here. And this is that one, and it's super cool. Okay, so I just got home. I cannot believe it's still 107 degrees and it's 6.35. So hot! All right, you guys, I am in my room now, and boy, has it been such a long day, and it has been so super duper warm. Oh my goodness. I think um, today is, it's actually today, it was, tomorrow's gonna be the hottest day today. I think the high um where i live was like 107 to 109 and it was just so hot and then when i was out thrifting um i think the highest temperature that i had that i saw on like the dash of the car was like 100 so it was super hot i watered the plants intensely 
um, because tomorrow it's going to be 116 degrees, apparently. So that is super duper hot. I might even water them in the morning really quick because last time it was like um, during the last heat wave when it was like 100 and I think it was like 115 or 114, something like that, or 12, 112. Anyway, what it was like, the plants were like wilted by the time I was watering them. So it was like, it would probably be a lot better to water them in the morning. Plus, right now, it's still like, I think it's like 90, 99 degrees outside. Even though it's like nighttime now. And, like, and I think it's going to be really, I think the w coolest temperature tonight until tomorrow is going to be like, in the 80s so it's gonna be really warm outside so i want to make sure the plants are nice and hydrated because you guys know how much i love my plants anyway i'm gonna stop talking um i wanted to do a haul real quick to end the video of what i got from anthropology i wanted to start off with this cute little floral bouquet so the um i remember i was telling you guys about those uh if you guys watched yesterday's i think yesterday's vlog i was talking about the flo like the dried and preserved florals this is one of them this is a um, hydrangea and it's so stinking cute and i wanted to um try it out i i kind of want to mess it up oh i can't even like okay hold on i wanted to take it out already because i wanted to Um, try it in my vase and I'm really interested in seeing how it looks oh so I think like they dye these probably to get them to look like this and that's why the color is so fantastic and I I think I read somewhere that I'm not supposed to like um, like try to judge them up like fake flowers they are real and then once they're out of like the thing they're gonna like open up on their own or something but you like can't help like trying to touch it but that's what it looks like it has the leaves which look also look like they were dyed that's interesting like I, does anyone know the process of how they do this but it looks honestly it looks like it might have been um colored because i can see it like you can kind of see it in the roots you know like when they um those crazy colored, uh, what are they called? Orchids that you get at, like, the grocery store. Like, when they have those blue orchids. Those orchids are not really blue. Um, actual blue orchids are, like, super duper rare and, like, really, really expensive. And though those blue ones at the grocery store are expensive, it's just food coloring. There's, um, they actually will inject, um, the flower into, like, in a certain spot in the stem with, like, an actual needle full of dye and that's how they get those colors and then once those flowers fall off if you're if you're able to get them to grow flowers again which i know is hard for some people <laughs> like me um they will come out white again so but it's just like a the, like that one time thing unless of course you do inject it or you try to inject it yourself you can actually see the injection points sometimes if you look really closely at the plant. I digress. Sorry, I'm just like... But look how cute this is. So, this is that vase that I got yesterday. That Jonathan Adler vase. Oh, it's actually super cute. And it's kind of just like by itself. How cute is that? That's actually super cute. I feel like this would be really fun in like... um other bases to like a really cute like glass one but I like this now I'm considering getting those other ones now that like because um I really wanted to see how it would look in um like especially at the house because like you know like how when you're at the store and you see something and you're like ooh, like it looks amazing da, 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 and you bring it home and it's like rah, rah, rah. it's not as great as you thought it was um yeah I just didn't want to be wrong about these flowers <laughs> But they're great. Uh, this little bouquet was a little bit pricey at $16. Uh, if you have like a student or teacher discount, you um, can do 20% off right now. Or you will get 20% off right now. You just have to bring like your ID. Um, and yeah, so awesome. I th and I think it ends in October or something like that promotion. But anyway, this is so cute. I'm only going to put it on my table. Let me actually have a real, like a live hydrangea right here. 
so here's like the difference here's a live one from the garden and here's this one like you can like it's really like obviously this is still real too just looking at them like they look it's so cool you guys um this one it is dried so it has like like it look like the leaves if you look really closely you can see that they're kind of like wrinkly like when the flowers get dry but it's pretty cool i'm pretty excited about this look, look how cute this is that one's adorable that makes me so happy. I love my little hydrangea. I'm so excited that one of our bushes is growing flowers again. It just... Whew, I'm hoping that those flowers, like, will go into fall so I can collect some and have some real floral arrangements. Okay. Anyway. Um, then I got these. When I saw them, I got really excited because our, um, our current oven mitts are, like, honestly such a hot mess. Um, they're stained. They're burnt. And they need to, uh, they need to go into the trash because they are, like, they're a hot mess. Um, I got these. Hopefully these are pretty good. Um, you, you, usually we, uh, I think my mom only gets the, I don't know, it's from Williams-Sonoma. I don't know what brand it is. It's either, like, the Williams-Sonoma brand or, like, Lakers. Is it Lakers Day, maybe? I don't know, but, um... We've bought other ones in the past, and they're never, like, that thick, and you can still, like, feel the warmth through them. I tried these on, and they feel really, really nice. And I got two. These were $16 each. Again, they weren't on sale. But, um, I know that if these are good and we like them, then we're gonna have them for years and years and years, and they'll be totally worth it. Because the other pair that we've had, we've had for a while. Probably for, like, 10 years. Probably as old as Cade, so... Uh, yeah. But these are really pretty. They're floral. Florals are forever. <laughs> so, says my inner grandma. And mom really likes them. I, I knew she would like these when she saw them. Like, she was like, her eyes lit up. And she was just like, oh, you got me new mittens. So, got these. Again, they're $16 each. Uh, oh, okay. This I was really excited about. Because I saw it in the sales section. And for Labor Day weekend, um, if you guys are going to be shopping, uh, there is a sale on 40% off everything that's already on sale or clearance or whatever. And these I did not see in clearance last week because I would have definitely bought them. Um, but I saw them today and let me know if you guys want them because I saw a couple more. I was going to just buy all of them, but I was like, ooh, what if no one else cares or really wants them? But I will pick them up for you guys. Um, but these are originally, like, 25 bucks. But I got it for, like, like $9, I think. But this one says, plant lady. And I mean, like, plants. Um, <laughs> but it's so cute. I love how it's, like, embroidered on there. It's just really, really fun. The, the... Uh, like the background, like the fabric is like a light, light, light blue. And then it has like really fun little, um, tassels on the bottom. And I just thought this was so, so cool. So I had to get this. And then I got this other one, which mom also really liked. I thought it was, I, I feel like this is something she would like, she would have really like, liked. And she did like it when she saw it. And it says... Uh, when life gives you lemons, ask if they're organic. And mom and I, like, we always, <laughs> we always talk about organic fruits and vegetables for some reason. So we're so weird. But, um, yeah. We always talk about it because everything we grow in the backyard, like all of the veggies and fruits and stuff we grow here at our house, we try to cook everything organic because, or cook, grow everything organically. So we only use, um organic soil and then organic fertilizers in those things and I don't know it just feels like it just tastes so delicious I don't know what it is like even the organic stuff at the grocery store doesn't taste as good like something that's just so satisfying and delicious when you grow something yourself in your own garden even if it's just like cilantro or uh basil it's honestly life-changing it's so good um then I was excited about this because I got two more of my wee plates. Wee. There's also my wee pillow. Alright, you guys. I wanted to switch out these 
um, tea towels for these two new ones that I got. So, plus these need a little bit of a washing. So we're gonna throw these in the washing machine and put these guys up. Okay, I feel like this needs like a little bit of an ironing, but um, there's those. I think I make I pair those two together since I thought it was a little too much that both of them had words on it. So that one's there. And then the other one is over here on the dishwasher. How fun. Actually, I kind of like them both together. I don't even care if they both have words on them. They're fun. That's how that's going to be. And I'm going to put this blue one down over here so that everything can kind of be like in that blue motif. Yes? Yes. And I'm putting these guys down in here in the little baking drawer right next to the oven. So, perfect. Also, look at how clean the kitchen is. Uh, I'm so excited. I, I could take some more stuff off the shelves, but like this stuff will be gone soon once that's finished. And mom has that butter out because she's going to make something tomorrow. So, yay. Oh. Uh, right here. Oh, and someone did ask me um, today where I got the pillows from. So the We Pillow uh, is uh, an anthropology pillow in collaboration with uh, what's her name, Claire Vivier. And I don't think these are available anymore because they did go on sale, and I don't see them available anymore on the website. So that they no longer have. Um, then over here, I actually got this pillow from walmart.com. And um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a brand called Fornacetti and they make um, like plates and pillows and candles and stuff. And Fornacetti puts like this lady's face on like all their stuff, but they like make her like, like one is she's going like this, like she's going shh. And then there's one where she's like winking and then like there's just like different things where her like her face is doing different things. Um so yeah, that's what that is. But there it's not a real Fornacetti pillow. Um it's just like Fornacetti inspired, even though it literally looks exactly kind of like the pillow. Um I know though the pillow, like the fabric is like a lot nicer. This is um it's okay, but you can tell it's just like printed on there, like I guess, like, on camera, you wouldn't be able to tell, but if, like, you're looking at it closely and in your hand, you'll know. But it was only, like, I think it was less than $10, but Walmart.com is where I got that, as opposed to, like, a couple hundred dollars. I wanted to try out the pillow and see if I liked it before I would, like, even try to find another one of those, because the, the pillows are pretty hard to find, and they're pretty pricey, so... And then here's the other mugs. I got two of these. So now I have a set. I don't have a set of yellow mugs, but I have a set of eight different Claire Vivier mugs. I have some of these and some of the pink ones with the red lips on them. So um, that's pretty cool. And I think I'm going to have one extra because I think I had seven, seven mugs and I needed just one more. And then I got this one. So I think I actually might send this to my aunt in the Philippines. So... Auntie Violi, if you're watching this, this is probably going to go to you very soon in the bike buy box. So, because <laughs> I know you, Auntie Violi and I, we share a love of the color yellow. So I have to send it to her. Sorry, all the other aunties. I'm sending other mugs to you guys too. But that yellow one is for Auntie Violi. Okay, and then um, I just wanted to, before I end the video... I did want to talk about the sale again. The sale in the shop, um, twenty percent off everything, uh, and then it's if there is like a little. I'm actually gonna um, I'm gonna like screen grab this or whatever and have it appear right there. Okay, so. If it has, like, a little yellow tag on the photo, um, then the item has already been discounted. If it does not have it, like, um, like, so then if you see it and, like, there's a little red square under the photo rectangle that says 20% that says twenty off, and then I'll have the price, and then it'll be crossed out with the new price, discounted price next to it. 
Um, so then if you see one that doesn't have a little yellow tag, you'll click on it. It doesn't say that it's 25% off. So you'll have to message me first to, um, to, for me to discount it for you. Uh, I know that sometimes this gets a little, like, confusing, but Depop doesn't allow me to discount, um, newer items in the shop unless they're running some sort of promotion. So, unfortunately, you're gonna have to message me first to do it, but please make sure to do that before you make your purchase, because I cannot give you a discount after the item's already been, yeah, after you've already purchased the item. But, I wanted to go over some really great stuff that I have in the shop right now that I think is really, really cool. First of all, the first thing I have here is this beautiful... Celine messenger bag. It's in, uh, it's in like a nylon like kind of fabric with leather trim. It is so good. It's like two pockets on the front. It has a zip around that goes under in the bottom, and then it expands if you want it to. It's the perfect bag for like school or work or every day because it's so lightweight and it's easy to travel with, and it holds a ton. So I love, love, love that bag. I also have a ton of really great shoes. I have some. Really great Tory Burch wedges here. Um, oh, I also have some really fantastic Tory Burch boots. They're calling you guys for winter. Oh my gosh. Black boots. They are a size 8 and the heel is 2 inches. So really, really fantastic. Um, I also have a ton of like great designer stuff. I have this Chanel zipper coin pouch wallet that has a little... Um, ring on it too that pulls out to give attach your keys um, it's on sale right now you guys it's such a great price as it's, it's such a beautiful piece and I have a great Marc Jacobs Natasha one of my favorite styles from Mark by Mark um, oh I have this C by Chloe bag it's so cute you guys it's like so tiny so adorable and it's just the perfect tiny little bag. It's so fun. Um, what else? Ooh, this vintage coach is so good. Made in USA, drawstring, crossbody bag. So nice. The leather is amazing on it. You guys will die when you feel it. It's so nice. You guys know that vintage coach stuff is so, 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 so good. I also have, oh, I have this beautiful All Saints Akita crossbody bag in like a taupe color beautiful it's such a nice bag so easy to carry it has a shoulder shoulder strap and then a long crossbody strap and it's just fantastic um what other notable ones are there uh oh, there's so many good ones this oh this coach one i've had for a hot second the one that says wanted on the on the front of it it's such a beautiful bag, you guys. I love, love, love that one. Um, I still have some Proenza. I have this metallic one. So beautiful in like new condition. And then I also have that beautiful navy. And this one is in the medium size. So, so good. Also in great shape. The, I love, love, love the Proenza PS1 bags. They are so, so gorgeous. Um... And I have some clothing pieces, more Tory Burch. I have um, some mugs, sunglasses. So I have a ton of really great stuff. I'm actually going to be listing even more stuff tonight and um, through until Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be the last day of the sale, so September 8th. So go check it out. <laughs> also, thank you for everyone that's already purchased stuff and is also... Um, uh, also going to be holding off on shipping if you guys are interested in that as well um, You guys like a lot of you guys have messaged me saying hold on hold your shipping Until after the 8th so that you can see what other new items I list in the shop So that way you guys don't have to pay extra for shipping so whew, Okay, I like lost my breath. I need some water Literally so warm. Oh my goodness um, but I think that's gonna end the video. Thank you guys again. Oh my gosh, should I like end this? Oh, yeah, I did. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today. I hope you guys had fun. Um, oh, hold on. I want to talk to you guys too about. First of all, hold on. I'm so sorry. We're not ending the video yet. Because I did want to talk about. <laughs> um, we went into CB2. 
Can we just talk about the Gwyneth chair really quick and the sofa? The Gwyneth chair and the Gwyneth sofa are so nice. And I actually waited because I was at, I was so close to ordering like one of those pieces um, because I wanted to see them in real life because they're just like the especially like um, I think the sofa is just a little bit more expensive than the chair. And I think the chair was like what eight hundred something, and the sofa is like a thousand something and that is a lot um and i wanted to feel them and see how they are first before i purchased and now that i saw the chair i am so in love you guys that chair is so good um i know like a, a lot of people have actually like people like on youtube and instagram like they have that chair and i mean like it's one thing for a chair to like look good and look nice and that's another thing for it to feel amazing when you sit on it and honestly this chair and the sofa are so comfortable they are so good um, i probably don't know if i would order the sofa because the sofa is um it's beautiful but like i wouldn't be able to use it in my room because it's like literally like it's too short like even if like like, it's really just for sitting. Like, you wouldn't really be able to, like, lay on it or anything. Um, which I think is, like, important for a sofa that's in your bedroom. But, um, I think it would be, like, a great sofa, like, in the library. It would be really cool. Um, and... But there's actually another piece that's in that same fabric. It's not, like, a collaboration with Gwyneth Paltrow and, um... What's our company called again? Whatever our company's called. Um, there's a... It's like a... What is it called? It's kind of like a, like a bench. But it looks like... It really almost looks like the sofa. And like they just lowered the back of it. And then they made it shorter. But I think it's like in the same fabric. And I really like that... I think it's called boucle fabric that it's in. It's so, so nice. And I'm, like, kind of obsessed. Like, I love my Studio Mickey, my Target chair. And I do. But I honestly, I would trade that chair in for that Gwyneth Paltrow one. Because that one also swivels. And they're literally about the same size. So I don't know why I was so worried about um, the Gwyneth Paltrow one being really big. Because it is more of, like, a smaller chair. But it's still... Uh, I can't even describe it. I'm, like... I'm so obsessed. I don't know. You guys know how I am with furniture. I love furniture so, so much. And I just, like, want, like, <laughs> when I obsess over something, like, I want to get it in, like, every different, like, iteration of the items. Like, I want the chair. I want the sofa. I want the bench. But I can't get all of the things that look exactly the same. So I really do like the chair. And I think I'll eventually end up ordering it. I'm going to wait and see if they have, like, some sort of, like, shipping discount or like some sort of sale or something because sometimes cb2 does that so i'm going to wait and just like wait it out but now i know like there's not going to be any second guessing like whether or not i think it's going to be comfortable or nice because i actually got the chance to sit on the pieces and they are amazing um because i also read like some people left like bad reviews for the chair and then like there's and then like the rest of them are like really like good reviews and I don't know if it was just, like, that particular chair or, like, a few chairs were, that did that. Um, but it's talking about how, um, like, I don't even know. Like, how um, the corners of the chair were and how, like, they connect to the sofa or to the chair. Like, how the fabric connects or whatever. Like, I couldn't really, I can't really explain it. But uh, when I was looking at it, I was like, no, like, it looks like it's really well made and that wouldn't happen. So... I don't know, hopefully if I do end up getting the chair, that doesn't happen. But I feel like the chair looks fantastic. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about the chair. Because I'm just, like, obsessing over it now. But I feel like I really like it. And I'm thinking about getting... Because, like, the thing about the chair that's really great, too, is if I ever get tired of it, I can put the chair in the living room. Because it's so... The thing about it is that it swivels. And that's, like, great for the living room because then you can swivel the chair around and face the dining room which is really really nice and like i'm anticipating like this pandemic ending one day and then people are able to come over to the house and we can have a party again like how nice would it be to be able to swivel that chair 
around and face like the kitchen because like everything's always going on over there and um those are like the only two chairs that are like facing away from the kitchen so it'd be really nice to be able to swivel them around right i am just going crazy but yeah those chairs are fantastic i love them i love them i love them i love them uh okay so i'm gonna end the video here because i'm gonna stop talking about the chair that i'm obsessed with i am looking though again at the flowers and i do like that little faux or faux dried flower and now i kind of want to get a bouquet so i might get one i just have to decide which one i want to get i have to look at my vessels and decide where i want to put them so if you guys have any uh ideas of what vessels i should use one of the bouquets in let me know and like the yurt it's crazy that you guys remember so much about like the home decor and stuff that i have like you guys are amazing so message me send me a dm comment down below um and we will figure this out anyway thank you guys again so much for watching don't forget to tune in to this morning's thrifting video and the new thrifting video goes up tomorrow by early at 7 a.m and the vlog is up at 2 i love you guys so much hope you guys had a great day morning evening night whenever you guys watch this and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye